Sticking roof rails and thick door claddings on a hatchback and slightly raising its ground clearance can create a compact crossover in India. But when Honda decided to make a compact crossover to take on the likes of the Etios Cross, the Cross Polo and the i20 Active, the designers went back to the drawing board and created an all-new design rather than giving a draft makeover to the Dash. The Honda WRV is a crossover based on the Jazz but gets an impressive styling segment plus features along with all the practicality and the goodness of the Jazz. The WRV has a muscular appearance thanks to the raised bonnet, chunky wheel arches, larger grille and the scuff plates. The headlamps are well designed with integrated LED daytime running lights. In profile, the WRV gets a design similar to the Jazz but the black cladding around the wheel arches, higher ground clearance of 188mm, 16-inch alloy wheels and the roof rails add more character to the profile. The rear too gets an all-new design with L-shaped tail lights extending to the bootlet, revised tailgate and a bumper with strong cladding. The WRV also gets a new color called Premium Amber, a popular choice in the SUV segment. Step inside and the WRV is more spacious than it looks. The magic seat feature of the Jazz has been given a miss, however legroom, shoulder room and headroom on both front and rear rows are quite impressive. The boot is quite sizable at 363 liters and a lower loading lip and shorter tailgate that can be opened in tight spaces make it quite practical as well. Of course, the rear seat can be folded to create extra luggage space. The WRV truly impresses with the features on offer. On top of the list is the 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system called the DigiPad. Inherited from the recently updated Honda City, the DigiPad offers segment bus features including navigation, voice recognition, Bluetooth telephony, audio streaming, 1.5 GB of internal memory, 2 USB in slots, 2 micro SD card slots and 1 HDMI in slot. It also features Wi-Fi support for internet, mirror link support for smartphone connectivity and live traffic feed. However, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto have been given a miss. The rear view camera with normal, wide and top down view comes in handy while reversing and parking in tight spaces. The top VX variant offers sunroof, cruise control and smart key with push start and stop button. Surprisingly, cruise control and push start button are available only on the diesel variant. The automatic air conditioning with touchpad looks and feels premium. Another pleasing feature is the push start stop button that glows in white color when the driver steps into the cabin and then turns red once pressed. The overall dashboard layout is reminiscent of the Jazz and the instrument cluster has been carried over as well. The driver gets a foldable cup holder in front of the AC vent that can keep the drink chilled or hold a smartphone. Aside from this, there are two cup holders, a glove pocket and bottle holders on all doors. Center armrests can hold iPads and other devices which can be accessed via the infotainment system. The driving position is excellent thanks to height adjustable seats and a steering column that can be adjusted for rake and reach. A large glass house and front quarter glasses similar to the Jazz ensure great visibility. The seats are heavily bolstered and padded which is a boon during long drives. The WRV gets the same 1.2 litre petrol engine from the Jazz which delivers 90 HP of power and 110 Nm of torque and is mated to a 5 speed manual transmission. The initial power delivery is sufficient and the car performs well at slow speeds and urban conditions. However, the engine lacks the mid range punch and you need to constantly shift gears to get going briskly. The rev happy IV Tech engine delivers decent high RPM torque for relaxed cruise on the highways. Thanks to the light clutch and the superbly refined nature of the engine, driving the petrol WRV is effortless. The diesel variant gets the familiar 1.5 litre ID Tech motor that turns out 100 bhp of power and 200 Nm of torque. This engine is mated to a 6 speed manual transmission. There is minimal turbo lag below 1800 rpm and the power delivery is very linear. The engine comes alive in the mid-range and you would be eager to push on. However, the gear ratios are tuned towards efficiency and the car would urge you to move up a gear. 
This engine is known to be noisy and the engine clatter intrudes into the cabin when revved hard. However, the overall NVH levels have improved on the WRV in comparison to the Jazz. Both engines return impressive mileage figures. The petrol returns 17.5 km to the litre and the diesel offers 25.5. The WRV's ground clearance has been raised to 188mm, but surprisingly it has not taken a toll on the car's handling. The WRV stays planted at high speeds with minimal body roll around curves. It might not be an astute handler, but owing to the new suspension, longer wheelbase and the wider 195 section tyres, the ride feels quite predictable. The steering is stable and direct and offers great feedback. The ride quality is impressive as the car glides over rough roads and the petrol certainly feels more comfortable thanks to the superbly refined and quiet Ivy Tech engine. In terms of safety, the WRB gets ABS and UL airbags as standard. The compact crossover segment hasn't really flourished in India due to the lack of compelling products. The Honda WRB ticks all the right boxes to kick up a storm in this segment. Moreover, it has the potential to woo many customers in the compact SUV segment as well.